Next, we have uh, Dr. Sanjay Dubey, uh, who is from Indore, and he is the founder director of Maharshi Vitiligo Center. He has uh, developed 10 video conferencing branches in major cities of India. Uh, welcome, Dr. Dubey, for your talk on uh, recent advances in phototherapy of vitiligo. Request all of you to keep your mobiles, phones in silent mode. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, my topic is uh, recent advances, uh, advantages in the recent, sorry, um, bit fear in the podium. Okay. So need not to be genius. Be just curious, ask many questions, and when asked, when answer is simple, then God is answering. Maybe for uh, Einstein, Mr. Einstein may be simple. For us, vitiligo is always tough. So myself, Dr. Sanjay, already been introduced, and we have 10 centers across the India, and dealing only on vitiligo. We are using only phototherapy since last 23 years. History, I'm not going too much into the history, because uh, uh, history and treatment as old as history is there 6000 or uh, before that also phototherapy was also used in the, as a photochemotherapy sunlight so phototherapy how does it works of course just now dr khetan has spoken about that and uh, uh, before that dr manju also uh, spoken on that so i'm not going to too much deep into it but most important thing which I want to <coughs> understand because I'm dealing only with the patients since uh, 23 or only with LIGO I found that full body phototherapy put, including UVA that chemotherapy uh, UVA and UVB they are more useful than usually localized phototherapy like we have targeted phototherapy so but best is first full body phototherapy so as what happened the keratinocytes get stimulated also, as uh, Dr. Manju has uh, shown in the pathophysiology, and uh, then melanogenesis takes place much better. So we have to give full body for therapy. That's what my watch is, because endothelin one, endothelin two, and it reduces the uh, free radical uh, uh, load also, and glycosylation of the tyrosine kinase takes place. So that is how the phototherapy usually works. Now, what are the modalities? Of course, we all know a lot of, uh, but uh, to sil uh, the most important thing I would like to tell, the difference between examer light and examer laser. So there are two different things. And uh, this is the helium chloride glue gas, which has been needed on the basically examer laser. But the examer light is now, the LED light has also come. So these are certain phototherapy modalities, certain examiner laser, then full body phototherapy, and then targeted phototherapy. So advantage of NBUBB, of course, it's much better and uh, does not need a photosensitizer, no chemical, uh, no uh, sorolins or no chelene needed. It has got lower cumulative dose. It has fewer side effects and NBUB showed 64% and only PUA used, uh, shows 36%. NBUB gives better color match. Now, I would like to tell you one more advantage of PUA also. So we cannot neglect PUA, especially type 4 and type 5 skin. It's more useful, especially if case is highly active. That is what I've won in the last 23 years. And there are sufficient studies which shows that combination therapy gives better repigmentation than any other therapy. That is, uh, uh, I would say, you can see that if we use only UV UVB, it is much superior than UVA. But, but at the end, uh, combination therapy, UVB and UVA is uh, uh, much uh, superior especially type 4 and type 5 skin. 
So new approaches, what I was supposed to tell, is uh, LED-based uh, technology, which has come now recently. Now I uh, had a uh, chat with uh, some international technologies, light technologies from Massachusetts also. They are developing some system, which is phototherapy, full-body phototherapy with LED lights, and uh, some home phototherapies also. This is very important. Home phototherapy, I will tell you later. This is most important for people, those who cannot come frequently to the institute centers or med colleges, medical colleges, because uh, far away places. Now, especially, um, and uh, other thing which I would like to tell, I will tell to home phototherapy much more than that, but uh, phototherapy with oral and topical adjuvant. There's just not too much talk about that. Tacrolimus, decapatides, and other. Uh, and then jack inhibitor role that is also used uh, in the combination of phototherapy. And uh, one interesting was a need fire needle combination phototherapy. This was recently published meta-analysis, uh, September 22, by Gang Zhong, I, I think I'm pronunciating properly, and uh, Yang Zhang. Uh, study done on 3,435 patients in 52 uh, uh, control trials. Uh, they follow Cochrane, EMBF and PubMed criteria. The age group was 0 to 70 and th uh, 3 to 12 months. They found superior results in the skin restoration of the 94 percent. They put the needle, hot needle, uh, surrounding the vitiligo, uh, vitiligo uh, patches. That might be stimulating uh, melanin uh, surrounding. So now I will talk about LED-based phototherapy. These are the future of phototherapy because now phototherapy earlier we used with the gas lamps or the Philips uh, TL01 and all. So now these are much uh, safer, much cheaper. In initial it is not cheaper, later on, and long half-life. So if the half-life of a lamp which we are using for the therapy may be 400 hours, if uh, it grows everything well, but uh, this goes 4,000 hours. So in long run it's cheaper, and comparative study of efficacy is still awaiting. I'll ask Dr. Khetan to study on that also. Thank you, sir. Now, home-based phototherapy. This is what the new thing. Like home-based phototherapy was earlier in 1990 been developed, but recent COVID era largely opened the scope of home-based phototherapy. So why? Because home-based phototherapy was available, but earlier home-based phototherapy were on on own of patient. Means patient can operate from their home at their home, but now what we develop the particular machine is remote machine and can be controlled from institute, center, or doctor, and the machine would be kept in the patient's home. So this will be the whole dose would be controlled and totally monitored. Suitable for patients, of course, it's convenient, uh, home-based phototherapy, convenient and time-based. In fact, time saving not only that, in fact, Compliance is also very good. So if we get 94 to 95% re uh, recovery, so it brings almost 98%. Already I have started using also, and it is cost effective, suitable for patients who do not want to reveal their identity. That happens kabi kabi. India mein to hota hai ya southeastern countries mein ki they don't want to reveal their identity. Now, home device options, single or multiple panel boots, hand and foot unit, and handheld unit. Now, how to select the patient of phototherapy, especially home-based phototherapy will be same kind of selection what we'll do in the uh, normal phototherapy, no sensitization, no, no photosensitizing disease or SLE or photodermatosis photo damaged skin, immunosuppression, history of melanoma, etc., and family member. So safety guidance for home-based phototherapy, that is most important, how to guide. So rather than uh, should be supervised uh, medical uh, uh, team, 
and should have key locks, timer, and dosimeter. So now we have developed the, uh, this is totally controlled from home, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi enabled, and so that if patient can come uh, take this machine in home or uh, uh, anywhere in the world or India or anywhere. So they can be monitored from uh, sub, uh, the doctors, from the institute uh, uh, dermatologists. And it should be key lock. So patient must be given adequate education to avoid over-enthusiastic use. So now it is over, uh, overruled. Now they cannot use over-enthusiastically because uh, being controlled from center. So compare between uh, home-based phototherapy unit and uh, uh, institute-based phototherapy unit. Okay, if we, uh, in short, I would like to, because less of time, so I would say the actually in psoriasis this been done, psoriasis this study was done, and uh, uh, they found the home-based phototherapy and institute-based phototherapy, they are producing same result. That was done in 19, uh, 2010. But what happened, like institute-based phototherapy, uh, patient, those who were taking uh, phototherapy in institute, they were more happier. Maybe because of they are meeting their doctor, maybe they are they're, uh, in the ambience, maybe, maybe, maybe because of uh, they are more comfortable in the hospital than home. So now this is the kind of, uh, we developed the uh, machines which can be kept in home and uh, we need just uh, people to have Wi-Fi in the home and uh, uh, continuous um, electric supply. So I am showing certain results with the phototherapy. Uh, uh, I, I would like to say, yes, sure. So in short, uh, we have a lot of results with the, with the phototherapy only. And uh, we have used phototherapy even for, uh, even we found the, on the palm results with the, but we used adjuvant with decapeptide also. But here with the melanocyte transplant, phototherapy does miracle. Even on the dorsum, the hairless area, and uh, even the sole, even the finger. Now I can uh, see this. This patient uh, is still in uh, ten years before I have treated. Now uh, she. Dr. Dubey, your time is up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just short. And then, in short, I'm concluding. Like, if. Institute, uh, whether institute-based phototherapy or home-based, whether a narrow band B, UVA, whether on face or extremities, male or female, young or old, phototherapy has been extremely instrumental in creating wonderful and clinically satisfying result in vitiligo. The need of our is use it to full potential and make it more accessible for every patient in need. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, and I'll have just a couple of questions for you. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, regarding uh, the palmoplantar plantar vitiligo, and where you have uh, like a thicker skin, and in your experience, what do you think is a better option, uh, UVA or UVB? See, if palmoplantar plantar, sir, uh, palmoplantar oh, plantar uh, is, uh, I would say, again, uh, UV. B and UVA combination is much better, mm -hmm. but it has to combine with the fo uh, targeted phototherapy also sometimes, sometimes decapeptide. So it's long process, but within a year or all, you start. So it's a mix and match, like whatever works. Uh, Both combined okay. combination. And now the next question is regarding targeted phototherapy, like uh, you have experience with uh, 308 eczema light and laser both. Yeah, both. So what exactly, how do you like uh, select your patient, in which patient to give the laser and which patient to give the light? Dr. Kaushik, uh, honestly speaking, I have stopped using uh, eczema laser because it's too costly for patient. They cannot afford and uh, we have to import the gases and all. No LED, no new targeted has come which is much cheaper. So now patient can afford. So the LED lamps and all the now onward, it is future of uh, for phototherapy and patient, mostly patient can afford uh, uh, these kind of therapies also in full body also. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sanjay Dubey. Thank, Thank you. you.